hi welcome back so this is going to be a very fast video if you are not able to follow up just pause and see it again and please continue so welcome back so it has been a very long time since i uploaded a video related cpwd so i was a bit busy so i hope i can put more videos in coming days so in this video we are going to see how to add your uh, steel bill into this cpwd erp system so first thing as we said before we have to select it, select the agreement first so we are selecting the agreement so the next thing is go to material at site which is in the center here this thing so material at site so this screen opens up So the first thing you have to do is see the create MAS here in the top left corner press create MAS. Next step is here we see a uh, option type of register. So in this since we are going to upload steel measurements so we have to select steel reinforcement bars MAS. So ordinary MAS uh, refers to anything like paint or uh, all kinds of material other than steel. So we are going to enter steel bill into this ERP. So we have selected steel MAS. So first thing uh, we have to do is goods receipt. There are other options goods issue, goods return. It will come in the future. It will be useful in the future. So first thing you have to do is goods receipt uh, as we are uh, receiving the material at site. So next is create receipt. So this page appears. So this is the page that is going that is appearing. So the, you see the columns here. You have you just need to fill in the blanks whichever the question is asked. So I don't have any chalan number, but I have an invoice number. So I'm adding it. My invoice number is twelve. So brand whatever brand you have purchased. So date of receipt. Data receipt cannot be changed. You can't change. If you are receiving the material today at site, you have to enter it today itself. Source of receipt. So you have to enter the source that is uh, the store name. In my case, I am entering my store name. So batch. It is actually a batch. It is not a sample. So material we have to select. These materials are to be uploaded by your executive engineer. He has to issue the site register to you with these materials. If he has added the material, there is no issue. You can go with the material selected here. If you are not getting anything, it is blank. It means that your executive engineer haven't added any material to your uh, uh, register and he hasn't uh, issued any register to you. That is the meaning. So you have to contact your uh, executive engineer regarding this. So in my case, my executive engineer has added the material and pressing it. So the next thing is quantity received based on standard weight. Uh, let me add it in the last. The first thing is you have to select the dia. So for each separate dia in the bill, you have purchased you have to enter it separately only let's give lot number as one as it is uh, first lot in my in this work so process receipt is zero sampling required okay, definitely sampling is required for this expected sample date I am giving it to next day. Eleven fifteen a.m. Standard weight per meter. It has arrived. Point three nine five. So I am entering the quantity here. Five point one eight metric ton. Fifty one point eight quintal.
so i have given save as draft think uh, loading time has to be increased or uh, i mean uh, improved in uh, erp it is a bit slower so here it is it is a draft inverse number 12 isac am steel traders date of receipt unit diameter okay let's add a row so here it is whatever there is in my is whatever there in my bill i have updated here so i am saving it now save draft so it asks are you sure you want to save as draft proceed so it takes time to load so that is a common problem we have with this cpwd erp system so it has it is done so the problem here is i have added four diameter bars uh, as you seen and i gave save as draft but the it is coming that only the final thing final row which i have added is alone visible here so i think somewhere i have done mistake or this uh, software has some error so i am going to try creating it again one by one so again create receipt let this be there i have pressed create receipt to add my next quantity so 10 10 mm bar i have added I'm, so this timing i really don't understand but for now i am adding it so i have saved it as a draft let's see another row is created or not so yes so each and every material you are adding you have to create the receipt separately as of now maybe in future they may update so 12 mm and 10 mm i have added so i add i still need to add more uh, uh, more dias so next thing is 16 mm i am having so i am going to add it now so i am going to forward it until i add everything so i have added the all the four quantities which is there in my bill and it is at the side so next thing is i have to raise rfi so before that i will show whether uh, okay so the next thing is raising rfi so i have to select all the four quantities and here it is raise rfi are you sure you want to raise rfi proceed rfi raise successfully so you have to confirm it back to dashboard so material at site receipt zero issue zero return zero so you have added a receipt and you have sent it for rfi so pending to raise rfi there is nothing we have sent sent to your je so now it is your je is part or a is part to acknowledge it so if there is any mistake they will return to you and you have to correct it and send it again so this is going to be the process and the next is next thing is how to issue um, this steel so issuing also will be coming in your next video so now i can't issue this material at site because j has to acknowledge it first then later we can issue it so issuing also is going to be similar process so stay tuned with our channel uh, we'll see right back soon thank you